Veto power. In constructing a legislative, executive, and judicial branch of the United States government, the Founding Fathers built in checks and balances to ensure no branch of government has too much control. One of these checks and balances is the veto, a way for the president to limit the power of Congress. Article 1, Section 7 of the Constitution says that the president must sign off on every piece of legislation or bill passed by the Senate and House of Representatives. So after Congress passes a law, the president can't edit or change the law, but he can say yes or no. However, the president only has 10 days to look it over and make a decision. If the president says yes, he signs it and it becomes a law. If he says no, well, this is called a veto. In a regular veto, the president returns the bill unsigned to both houses, but he includes a veto message explaining why he disapproves. If Congress still wants to pass the law, they get another chance to vote on it. But for it to override the president, it must be approved by two thirds of the House and Senate. We have this breaking news. President Trump has just vetoed the National Defense Authorization Act. Let's go back to Blake Berman. He's got details as we watch the, the market still holding up here. Blake. Liz, this was expected. The president had to act until tonight, and he has just sent out his official veto of the NDAA. That is the defense bill, $740 billion to fund the military. This overwhelmingly passed in Congress, the Democratic House, the Republican-controlled Senate. But one of the main objections from President Trump was that he wanted Section 230 to be repealed and included in this. Of course, Section 230, as you know, is the legal protection that social media platforms uh, have. And this this was the this was the explainer as the president wrote when he um officially gave his veto. He said, quote, Section 230 facilitates the spread of foreign disinformation online, which is a serious threat to our national security and election integrity. It must be repealed, writes the president. We should note, um, Liz, that Section 230 has never been combined in any form whatsoever with the Defense Authorization Act. Up until this point, it's been two completely separate things.
I can't remember the last time the Senate convened on New Year's Day. The Republican-controlled U.S. Senate, in a rare New Year's Day session, overrode President Donald Trump's veto of a major defense bill, marking the very first defeat of a Trump veto. The yeas are 81, the nays are 13. The Senate on Friday voted 81-13 to secure the two-thirds majority needed to override the veto with bipartisan support. The $740 billion National Defense Authorization Act, or NDAA, determines everything from how many ships are bought to soldiers' pay and how to address geopolitical threats. Trump refused to sign it into law because it does not repeal certain legal protections for tech companies. He also objects to a provision stripping the names of Confederate generals from military bases. Trump on Friday tweeted, Our Republican Senate just missed the opportunity to get rid of Section 230, which gives unlimited power to big tech companies. Pathetic. The House successfully voted to overturn Trump's veto on Monday. Republican lawmakers have largely stood by Trump during his time in office. But since losing his re-election bid in November, Trump has lashed out at them, among other things for moving toward the veto override and rejecting his demand for bigger COVID-19 relief checks. So this $2,000... Democrats welcomed Trump's call for $2,000 direct relief payments and had hoped to use the NDAA to force a swift vote on a bill authorizing the checks. But many Republicans, like Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, have so far quashed the efforts. The House Democrats' bill is just simply not the right approach. McConnell is tying larger checks to a competing bill with social media and election provisions that Democrats are sure to reject, with little time left for maneuvering before the next Congress is sworn in on Sunday.